When you suddenly get ganked by the enemy jungler, you have three options left on how to deal with this situation. Option 1 would be running away. The other option would be fighting back. And last but not least you can use a CC spell in order to stop the jungler from approaching you that quick. Well guess what? There is one jungler which is immune to all the three things I just have listed. Fizz Jungle. A champion that is normally played on the mid lane and is known as an assassin that can get out of any situation without any consequences. You can't run away from him, since he has two spells that can perfectly work as a gap closer. And one of them is a point and click spell. Fighting this champion isn't a great option either since the fish has a great 1v1 potential and can dodge your major damage spells. And that's also the ability that allows you to dodge the enemy CC spell, and reach them without any problems. But let's start with the most important part of this pick. The jungle clear. At the start of the game Fizz should buy the red jungle egg, which grants this champion with some additional damage and a 30% slow. And don't forget the health potion. Well your teammates are lucky, since Fizz jungle doesn't need a leash and can just start with the raptors. The reason for this is quite simple. First of all Fizz has a passive, where he gets reduced damage from all types of damage sources. This ability is more useful on a camp with multiple enemies than on a camp where there is just one monster. And all these raptors won't deal that much damage as usual. Well most of you guys are probably thinking that we are going to skill the E spell first in order to be able to deal some OE damage but that is not the case. Due to its high cooldown, the better option would be the W spell, which has a passive that allows Fizz to apply a burn damage that stays on the enemy for 3 seconds and deals 20 damage every half a second. So always make sure to attack all raptors on this camp to apply the passive damage on all monsters equally. But the main damage can be unlocked by activating this spell, which allows your next basic attacks to deal more damage over 4 seconds. And it is an auto attack reset. So auto attack into W spell on that big one, then apply the passive on the small one, attack the big one again, and attack a different small one. This is the fastest way to clear the camp. After the camp is cleared, Fizz should put his second skill point into the Q spell. It roughly deals the same amount of damage as the E spell, but the cooldown is way lower. Just use both spells whenever they are up. When the fish is finished with the red buff, you will realize that he doesn't have that much HP left. Well the first clear is horrible on this champion and we can't do much besides praying that the enemy jungler won't invade us. But it gets better after the first back port. The next camp are the Krugs, and they do a solid amount of damage so you need to be careful on how to deal with them. Auto attack and Q on the big one, smite it and make use of the auto attack into W combo. Always make sure to position like this, in order to make it impossible for the smaller one to attack you. And spare Fizz from some additional damage. When it gets too close, the fish can still make use of the health potion in order to prevent you from embarrassment like this. Executed. This should allow Fizz to hit level 3 and unlock the last ability. Now you should go back to base, with 400 gold in your pocket and mainly because you need some HP back in order to be useful again. But this is also the perfect time to buy some items for this champion. If you are confident, you can purchase a dark seal in order to snowball out of control and dominate the game with a ridiculous amount of damage. The other option would be buying boots, another health potion and a control ward. For cowards like me. After all that buying, Fizz is going to clear the blue buff when there is still some time left. Otherwise skip it and move directly towards the scuttle crab to secure it before the enemy jungler does. And sometimes you can even skip both camps when there is a great opportunity to gank. Since ganking lanes is way better on Fizz than full clearing your jungle. First of all there are different types of engages when Fizz tries to gank a lane. When you are already close to the enemy target, Fizz can make use of the Q spell, which is a dash that always has the same distance. So when you are standing right next to your opponent, you can use it to cut off the escape path, and use the W spell to deal a solid amount of damage. When the enemy is standing further away, Fizz can use the E spell as a gap closer, which is a jump and by recasting it you increase the range of the spell. But ideally, you don't want to use it as an engage tool, since when you don't recast it, the ability slows the opponent by 80% and deals some OE damage. And it can also be used to dodge key abilities that they might use to stun or slow you. Additionally, it's not a problem to chase them down since Fizz passive allows him to get ghosted and he can't get body blocked by minions. And the damage of the W spell together with electrocute, and the use of ignite should be enough to easily collect a kill. Wait. Fizz is being played inside the jungle so he is forced to take smite with him. Then why does he has ignite? It might surprise you, but Fizz jungle doesn't need ghost or flash to be effective in that what he is doing. 
The two dashes are more than enough to reach the enemy and Ignite is just the better summoner spell in order to collect some more kills. Even though the Fizz is going to permagank the lanes, he still has to clear the camps in order to gain some EXP. With the E spell unlocked, the jungle clear is going to change a bit. Now you are going to use the E spell first and don't recast it in order to deal some AoE damage. Then auto attack into W spell and make use of the Q dash, and depending on the camp, you can use the E splash at the end to get rid of all these small monsters. This spell is Fizz key ability since it allows you to jump over a lot of walls in order to get out of sticky situations. And it is also ideal for shortcuts to reach the next jungle camp faster, chasing enemies and denying the all-in damage. That is the reason why we are going to max out this ability first in order to reduce the cooldown and use it twice as often as before when this spell is maxed out, which is going to be super annoying. And we haven't even unlocked his best spell yet. At this stage of the game, Fizz ganks are more than effective enough with these two gap closers and the amount of damage he has, but by unlocking his ultimate, it gets even easier. Fizz ultimate is a skill shot where he fires a fish towards any location he pleases. When you hit an enemy with it, they get slowed by 2 seconds, and after 2 seconds the shark appears, dealing damage towards anyone who is standing inside the circle and knocks them up for 1 second. The slow and damage increases based on the range the fish is going to travel, so high risk, high reward. But this doesn't mean that you should try to hit the ult at max range during a gank. Only use it when you are sure that you are going to hit it on the enemy. Throw it on enemies that are already stunned or when they don't have any spells or summoners to dodge it. And when you have managed to send the shark towards someone, you can be sure to collect a kill since the slow and the knockup give Fizz more than enough time to catch up and kill them. And we haven't even talked about the damage this ability deals. The other advantage is that most enemies don't want to stand inside the circle and thus keep more distance towards their own AD carry, making it impossible to peel for them. But yeah, Fizz is going to dodge their ability anyway. But Fizz jungle ganking strength doesn't stop here. His best discipline is tower diving. By just hitting the ultimate in the first place and jumping out of the turret range with the E spell, you can collect a lot of kills or prepare tower dives for your teammates when they are low enough. You don't even need your shark in order to kill your opponent. The Q and W spell combined with Electrocute and Ignite is more than enough to collect 300 gold. During the mid-game you will be farming camps, doing objectives and ganking lanes just like a normal jungler. But there is one thing you can do to tilt the enemy carries out of the game. That would be sneaking inside bushes and waiting for the enemy squishy AD carry to appear. When you manage to hit them with the ultimate, they have no chance of surviving and you can collect a free kill. This can be done during the whole game. Unfortunately, the late game also consists of team fights where it isn't easy to solo kill the enemy hyper carry, since he is standing at the back where it is hard to reach him. Well that problem can be solved when Fizz uses his E spell in order to jump through the enemies, and he can one shot them with W and ult spell, but he can't get out of the situation, since you have already used the disengage spell. You can buy yourself some time with Shania's but most of the time it ends up in a one for one trade and that is not always worth it, especially not when you have some Magi's stacks. The better option would be firing the ultimate on the enemy carry and forcing everyone to get away from her, because of the AoE damage. Thanks to the slow you can catch up and use the Q dash into W spell burst damage to get rid of her, and just disengage with the E spell. Sometimes, just shooting the ultimate into a pile of enemies is enough to create a panic situation and allows your team to engage on them and win the team fight since everyone is just trying to save their own ass and you can just go on and one-shot the squishy. Here are the build and runes for Fizz Jungle. And if you are wondering why there is an Orn being played inside the jungle and has already two items more than the enemy jungler at the first scuttle fight, click on this video right here.